Welcome to Low Key PD. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to double check the results that Gemini provides to your prompt using Google Search. So if you go down to the end of the results, you'll see this little Google logo. And if you hover over it, double check response. And basically what this is going to do is it's going to search Google sort of separately, independently, and see if there's any information in the response that Gemini provided that maybe doesn't make sense, is it consistent with what is already available online. So I'm going to click on this. It's searching Google. This will be interesting because I know that there are some problems with this result. All right. So let's see. Some of the stuff gets highlighted here. Expand. Indication of what this, why it's highlighted. Google search didn't find relevant content. So just because Gemini is using uh, artificial intelligence and it's basically a large language model, it's, it has searched tons and tons of textual data, doesn't mean it's always going to get things right. Uh, and one of the things that uh, Google is big on for people who are using Gemini is don't sort of disassociate yourself from the process just because you're getting a result through artificial intelligence doesn't mean it's hundred percent trustworthy you as the user uh, can double check things make sure it is what you want it to be does it have the right tone that kind of thing don't just remove yourself from the process and accept whatever it gives you because it could be wrong If you want to, you can click on understand the results and it will walk you through uh, what the, the results mean. Uh, Google search found content that's likely similar to the statement in green. Google search found content that's likely different from the statement where it didn't find relevant content. Uh, if it's in this sort of what peach color. So there's different ways to double check the results before you sort of save this or publish it or you know put it out there you might want to double check uh, to see if the the information at least is correct and that's how you can do it it's nice that they've included this feature